The closest analogy would be that dream of flying where you can walk, run and step and then go wherever your mind is taking you. Your mind's destination in this instance is the Dubai Marina, home to Wednesday's Gravity Industries jet suit race. Yeah, a jet suit race. It kind of looks like something from that old Pilot Wings game, and it's been billed as the first ever race of its kind. I mean, check this out. It's a bunch of people zipping around like bugs above the water in these complicated contraptions. And yes, the founder and chief test pilot of the company behind these things is well aware of the comparisons to that Robert Downey Jr. movie. No, not that one, that one, or that one. He's done a lot of films, you know, but yeah. That one. And yes, the world of Marvel superheroes and DC Comics, they have created that dream but with CGI, and we've got the closest I think anybody's ever got to to delivering that for real. In its own words, Gravity Industries says it designs, builds, and flies jet suits which it's been doing since the company was founded back in 2017. And Wednesday's competition literally armed our pilots here with these 1,500 horsepower jet suits. In case you're counting at home, that's more than five times the horsepower as this 2024 Chrysler Grand Caravan. These things run on seven gas turbine jet engines powered by jet fuel, which are positioned on the hands and backs of the suits and can reach speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. In case you were thinking about picking up one of these babies to zip in and out of highway traffic. Gravity Industries claims they're building on the success of Formula One by bringing mind, body, and machine together. And I mean, yeah, they basically imagine you in a GigaChad meme here, in this jet suit document that explains everything from combustion to Newton's law to how birds work. This type of competition has been in the works for a while. And back in 2020, Gravity Industries dropped this video of a bunch of test pilots simulating a race across a bunch of road and grass. And on Wednesday, at long last, our little jetpack joyride here commenced in the real world as racers fired up their machines and glided off the pier. Their souped up hair dryers took them around this race route, where they had to make their way around obstacles while hovering a short distance above the water. Somebody ended up falling in, of course, as nature would have suggested is possible. Yeah, I think I would say it looks like you know, astronauts flying over water are just pretty incredible to see the site here in Dubai. That's a lady from Houston who lives in Dubai now who turned out for this thing. And this pilot who took part in the event made it sound pretty fire in a near literal sense. Everything's hot, it's running, the engines are screaming at you and the flag drops and it's just you absolutely go for it. And it is that whoosh and then it bites in that power's there and you're just absolutely going for it. Our pilot there ended up winning the whole thing, hence this little golden jet turbine. And onlookers like this guy hope they'll one day get the chance to hover above the water with jets strapped to their body too. You can see the best so you can ever see in Dubai, you know, because people are flying. They are flying in the sky and, and it's a, it's a next level tech and it's really, really nice because uh, if you're a big fan of uh, Iron Man, you know, the Tony Stark, then it is Tony Stark tech, AKA Iron Man tech. Gravity Industries plans to host more of these competitions as part of its 20 2024 race series. And if you want your own chance to strap a jetpack to your body, the company will let you do so just outside of London for 3,500 bucks plus tax. That's the same price as the Apple Vision Pro, in case you're trying to determine which version of the future you want to live in. Of course, if you want to go full Rocketeer and buy your own one of these things, custom suits start at 380,000 pounds. And you thought Tom Ford was expensive. 